looks like. It's going to need a new battery. <laughs> All right, let's turn this off. This car sat for about two weeks, and about two weeks ago, I was going to take it to work, and the dashboard was lit up like a Christmas tree. All the check engine lights were on. This car is a 2015. It's actually pretty old, but still modern enough to have all kinds of electronics. So when these somewhat modern cars and modern cars have weak batteries, you get all kinds of check engine lights. So all these were on the steering, the ABS, everything was on. And it was about 45 degrees, which is cold for California standards. The battery is about four years old, which is about normal for a battery to go bad these days. So I'm going to start it up now. And it was running rough when I tried to start it two weeks ago. It's 80 degrees right now, so it's not running rough. But the check engine light is on and it's voltage related. So that's telling me I need a new battery. Age of the battery right there, 620. It's 1224 now, so a little more than four years old for this battery. Negative terminal unhooked, so I'm gonna hook this up to the Noco Genius 5. Battery's charging up. We're gonna wait until this is solid green to activate repair mode. Solid green, so we're gonna hold down the mode button. And then tap it one more time. Now this is going to blink when it's back to this light right here. Repair mode's finish. It's going to take several hours. Repair mode's finished. So it'll blink while it's repairing. And when it's done, it'll go to the power icon. So I'll go ahead and reconnect the battery, set the date, time, wash my car, and drive this to work for the whole week see if the check engine light comes back December 7 just topped off on fuel reset my trip meters so we're gonna find out if this restore mode worked so check engine lights on right now because the car is not on but once I turn it on the light will come off and if the check engine light is fixed it shouldn't come back on within 50 miles it feels like 40 degrees right now, so let's see if my car glitches out. 38. Besides the service tire pressure warning, everything looks good. No check engine light. Looks like the ice warning's on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because of the temperature. It's even blinking 38 to let me know it's cold. Yeah, this is cold for California standards, but that's it. Everything looks good. So far, so good. It looks like this uh, battery restore work, and I have 113 miles on my car so far on this current tank of fuel and on this battery restore. Two weeks into the Noco Genius 5 battery restore. Go ahead and start the car up. When I did the restore, I was at 62,892 miles. Now I'm at 63,249, around three, 400 miles into the battery restore. I've been driving this to work every day since the 7th. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna start the car for about a week. So let's see if this battery holds its charge. That's the thing with batteries when they're weak. Sometimes you need to jump start it. You'll start the car up. After a jump start, you'll turn the car off. Turn it back, try to turn it back on and it won't start again. That means the battery is just not holding charge. So I'm not going to start this car for about a week. So let's see if this Noco Genius 5 restore this battery and I'm able to let this car sit without starting it for about a week. Let's see what happens. Check back in about a week, December 28. I might go even longer, we'll see. First day of 2025, so it's been about nine days since I started this car. Let's start it up. 
Hopefully it starts up. Let's see what happens. Started right up. That's the only thing I need to address, it looks like. I'll either drive this to work tomorrow or Friday, second or third. But yeah, it still starts up. I'm gonna clean it right now. Everything's looking good. Just got off of work. Starting the car up right now. I have it hooked up to a scanner. I'm gonna hit the I am readiness key. And let's see if everything's looking good. All green check marks, everything's good. Put a couple hundred miles on this since I did the refurb, the restore. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if, if there's any pending check engine lights. So driving for a couple weeks and then letting my car sit for about nine days. So everything's looking good. No, don't erase anything. And then let's see, read codes, stored codes, no codes are saved, pending codes, no pending codes. So everything's looking good. So there you go. The battery restore, refurbed, worked. Looks like my voltage related check engine light is solved. Everything's looking good, so I cleaned the car up. Start driving it to work every day again. I bought this car in 2018, it's a 2015. I bought it expecting it to be a piece of junk. I wanted three reliable years out of it. If I got three reliable years out of it, I would have been happy. I just had to get one of these cars and it's been surprisingly reliable. It's 2025 now. It's all cleaned up. Ready for daily driving again.